Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. to lay out its case against a social media influencer accused of murder. Police in Hawaii arresting the woman four months after police say she stabbed her boyfriend. CBS 4 Jacqueline Quinn joins us live from the state attorney's office to explain. Jacqueline, good morning. Good morning. And church, we already heard from her lawyer saying that she is facing a murder charge at this point, and we're waiting to hear more specifics later this afternoon from the state attorney's office. But the reason why she was in Hawaii, her attorney says, is because she has been receiving PTSD treatment and related issues to this case. Now, this case goes back to April 3rd. Police were called to one party so in Edgewater. They found Claney's boyfriend, Christian Obo-Selly, stabbed inside of her apartment. He was taken to the hospital, but he died on the way there. Since then, his family has been pretty open about how they feel, saying they want her arrested. Courtney Claney's team have said this was a domestic issue that came about because she removed her boyfriend from the lease, but he kept coming back. Her attorney sent us this statement expressing that we are completely shocked at Courtney's arrest based upon the clear evidence of self-defense in this matter. Obam Selly attacked her and choked her that evening. Courtney had no choice but to meet force with force. Further, we are disappointed that the state attorney sought an arrest warrant in this matter. Now, Obama Sally's family has said nothing could have warranted his death. Devastation doesn't quite describe what my family's experiencing right now. Yesterday, we finally told our 93-year-old grandmother that her grandson, who was expected to come home to Texas to visit for his 28th birthday, will no longer or ever be returning home. And again, Claney is expected to be brought back to Miami to face trial. We will be there at the state attorney's news conference later and bringing the latest. For now, reporting in Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4. This morning.